Here I have a picture of Keith Richards, 1958 Fender Stratocaster. When I was in the Bradley Barn sessions with George Jones recording that album, Keith Richards was invited to do a couple of songs, and he showed up with this. He had Bobby Keys traveling along with him, too, and a blonde-headed lady and his guitar tech. I can't remember his name. But I got to tune this guitar once. I never took pictures when I was on the George Jones crew because it's just, you just don't do that, I guess. They really, they didn't care for it much. But I had to sneak a couple of pictures in when I was in the Bradley Barn sessions when no one was looking. I could not resist getting a picture of this iconic guitar. I have a few more pictures here I've found that I snapped when nobody was looking. You know, George didn't like being bothered with all that pictures and autographs and all that so I didn't do that but I could not resist myself but you notice that Keith showed up with a Stratocaster and not a Telecaster and everybody says you gotta have a Telecaster to play country but he showed up with this Stratocaster and it's a real beauty like he'd added gold hardware you can see the input jack and the bridge plate is gold. And you can't see the tuning keys because they're covered up. But they were gold too. And if you look to the right on that table, I believe that's a Keith Richard pick. He has them stamped Keith, Keith, K-E-E-F, Riff Hard. Keith Riff Hard. I have some of those picks somewhere, but I've lost them. I wish I could get better detail of the guitar for you, but I can't. He came in and they cut two songs. One of them was Say It's Not You, which I hadn't even heard. And I'm going to burn your, or burn your playhouse down. So he picked some really rare, obscure songs. And from what I hear, Keith... It was a big fan of George Jones, and why wouldn't you be? So he was honored to get to play on that CD. I don't remember what year it came out. I was fortunate enough to get an album credit on there. Special thanks to Scott Dorsey. So, in all my years of traveling with George and all the people I met, I never hounded them with cameras and autographs, so... But on that day when Keith was Keith or Keith was there, I could not resist taking a snapshot of that Stratocaster. I have some more pictures I may put out here. I found a few more. Not like I was looking for them. I just found them in the attic. I have track sheets with the from the sessions and stuff. So let me know what you think about Keith Richards, Keith Riffhard's 1958 Fender Stratocaster with gold hardware. And remember to always keep a good thought, but don't get caught. 10-4.